Hello, welcome back. I might look different, and that's because I'm with my grandma. Today we are making another fun video. We are doing Christmas cookies and we're making these. Where, Mom, where did you get these cookies? Aldi's. Aldi's? Uh -huh. It's um, short, mini shortbread cookies and we're gonna make them. This holiday season, my family is without an oven, which means if we wanna use an oven, then we have to come visit Granny. No ovens means we haven't been able to make a lot of different foods, including Christmas cookies. So we're here at my grandmother's today to make Christmas cookies with her, and maybe she can share some of her baking secrets with us because she has a lot of secrets. She's a very secretive woman, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. All right, so, um, Okay. What we have ready in front of us, we have of course our shortbread cookie kit comes with the mix. Mm -hmm. the as well as that's that's all. Okay. <laughs> Festive oh. Christmas sprinkles and this little Cut. pathetic Christmas tree cutter, which grandma has come to the rescue and found these fun little more miniature cookie cutters. Mm -hmm. You can't really see them, but we have a Gingerbread man, Christmas tree, bell, angel, candy cane, and a holly leaf, which, you know, pretty cool. We also have this cookie tray baking sheet ready for prepping as well. So, reading the directions now. So it says preheat oven to 350. I guess I, I need to do that. How do I work this? Hello? Bake? Bake? Bake, right? Bake. Go. It's doing things! Wash cutter with warm soapy water and dry thoroughly. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy so I'm not gonna do that. Lightly grease baking sheet with butter or cooking spray. I don't know where anything is in this kitchen. What we need to focus on though is actually making the cookie batter. So, we do have... A bowl here. It's what I used to cut my hair. Just kidding. Do you like my hair cut or styled this way? I'm not sure if I do. Let me know in the comments. Combine cookie mix and butter. Mix until well blended. Gather into a ball. Wrap in plastic and chill in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. In preparation, we did get out a stick of butter. I'm trying to, but everyone keeps talking. In preparation for this recipe, we did know that we would need butter, so we have it setting out ready to be softened, I guess, or already softening. I don't know how butter works. Someone explain this to me. Eight tablespoons room temperature butter. We have all eight tablespoons here. Everyone, welcome back, my grandma. Hi. Should I open this? Yeah, you can go ahead. It doesn't look like there's a lot there, you know? So. I know. So I don't know how many cookies. No, on the front of the box it says makes 48 cookies. 48 cookies? Like how is this going to make 48 cookies? Yeah. How do I... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. As you can see, everyone ignore the fact that half the butter in this bowl just came out. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Just take pictures. Just to do a video. You, you know a video? You know what a video is? Yeah, I know what okay, a video is. Okay, well that's what that is. That's what he's doing. You're looking at him on television. Okay, what I was trying to show you was Grandma kindly cut up the butter into smaller pieces into this bowl. I'm now going to pour the mix in here. I mean, I guess you're gonna just watch me do it anyways. Oop. I'm surprised. Isn't there, a, do we add an egg to this or something? Does it say because it's, there's no liquid here except for the butter? For the butter, we I mean, have that we need more than. Hmm. Nope, no eggs. Just the butter and mix, right? Right. And we gather it in a ball and. Oh, you chill gather it in a ball and you put it in the refrigerator? Right. Oh, it's not good. Okay. Are you doing all the work? No, I'm trying to figure out what we're supposed to do over the mixer. You know what I can surmise from this picture on the box is that these sprinkles are supposed to go in the cookie batter. Not on top of the cookies. Really? Something yeah. Like to yeah. Are you sure, Christian? I mean, I'm never sure. See how they're like yeah, in the cookie? Yeah, you can see the cookie, cookie dough, can't you, right? Right. So we're kind of doing like a funfetti situation, which is awesome. Through hard work, none of which 
was my own. You can't see me. There I am. Hi, how you doing? Grandma has made it somewhat homogenous. Um, there's still clumps, but you know, I think this is just like a weird cookie recipe. I don't know. Somebody has more. a white spot on their bottom. Ex Where? Oh yeah. What did I, I have oh. Oh, is it from the mix? No, I don't know what, what... That's what it is. See, it's not going together like a dough. It's not really sticking together, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what does the direction say? It literally just says... Mix. Combine cookie mix and butter. butter. which we did. Mix until well blended, gather into a ball, wrap in plastic. But usually, like, when you make dough, like for a pie or something, you add a little bit of water or something to it, then it sticks together. If you're gonna be a part of this video, get behind the counter, ma'am. Join the party. Don't just steal the directions and walk away. I'm dressed in Columbus. I have a white spot on my butt. Come here. <laughs> it's still not clinging, though. See, I mean, it, because it's... Because, well, it's... it's Let's see, it's powdery, so yeah. when we make pie crust, I mean, like I, I said, you add a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should add some water to it. Um, I, I think it'll stay in a ball, won't it? Yeah, but once you, you got to get it in a ball, okay? <laughs> right, problem number one, get it in the ball. <laughs> you got to get it in a ball. I mean, is that typical of shortbread mix? No, I, Isn't I it very so. crumbly or something? I don't know. I feel like I've watched enough VA test kitchen videos to know how food acts. Maybe not. Okay. I'm not a professional well, chef. Yeah, I've never tried this one before, so probably should have just brought ingredients for one. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, he just wants to get on the camera. You're right in front of no, the camera. Grandpa yeah, just wants to hog all the camera yeah. time. So I found the directions online. Oh. And it says you will need for the cookies four tablespoons of room temperature butter. While the box says eight. So, someone tell me what's up with that. I just put that in the oven because it looked like it was soft. So we all need to stand bit. here and, and watch it. <laughs> Does it look goopier? It looks goopier. Yeah. Goopier? Okay, while everyone, while everyone else is doing other Don't things, ask me. we figured that God, I can't even drop this. We figured that if we stuck it, focus, Cameron, Cameron, camera. Um, we figured if we stuck this in the microwave, it'll melt the butter that's already in here and make it the dough a little more sticky. So as you can see, it's goopier or whatever word I used earlier. So let's get it in the fridge. I just handed her a burning bowl. It's softened up, so this is better. That's a ball if I've ever seen one. Okay, I need more. Here, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. Put it on here because I've done, I've done this. Oh. <laughs> That's. Well, mom, uh, I fine. Mom, did you wash your hands? Uh, now we are going to I pop this in the fridge for the next 20 to 30 minutes. You if it's okay if I unplug it. Okay. People don't know what it know. means to be silent on the set. Bar with the blue. Or see how it says search Google. So, The time has come. Our dough has been chilling for about, what do you say, 45 minutes? <laughs> Long enough for my mom to teach my grandmother how to use the internet. Halfway through that whole, you know, internet session, I realized that, were we supposed to add the sprinkles into the dough? Um. Oh. So while all the mini cookie cutters were cute in their own right, we decided on four. Balls. The Christmas tree, the bell, the holly leaf, and oh, our so little gingerbread man. We just thought that the angel and the candy cane were too intricate to hold their shape through the process. My mom's laughing at me for some reason. Why are you laughing at me? Uh, he's using some big words. Sorry, I am well-spoken. All right, we have one batch and we have one batch ready to be put in the oven. Oh, we Actually, we're gonna finish we'll decorating these, cookies. so. Yeah, Baking was a success. <laughs> um, Ta-da, I don't know. Mmm, everyone loves an invisible cookie. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's probably the better looking ones because most of them were kind of burnt, right? A little bit, yeah. I actually haven't had one yet, so okay. we're gonna do a little taste test. 
They're good. They're shortbread. Oh, you don't like it? You don't no. Like it. They're a little dry. I mean, well, that's they're, a shortbread. That's what shortbread. Is. They're good. They're really good. A plus, right? I think they're good shortbread. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was nice just doing yeah, cookies nice. with you guys. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed. That's it so, for this video. I, I did you have fun? I had fun. Yeah. I think. It was the perfect balance of wholesome and chaos, as my videos typically are, right? And you want a banana? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy this uh, baking experiment. Um, we enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy watching it. Wow, you do outros better than I do. Comment down below your favorite Christmas treat. I said treat. I meant treat. Treat. What do, what, what do you like to eat during Christmas, I guess. Also, any video ideas you want to see me try out because I want to do Christmas. I'm so, like I said, you're much better at the outro thing than I am. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Merry Christmas.